Listen, listen, listen. You see, all of that drama, all of that violence that we have been anticipating and looking forward to to happen on the season of Big Brother Niger, guys, it has finally manifested its ugly head in the early hours of this morning in the level two household. And guys, it wasn't a small one at all. It was massive. It was a crazy wave of forgation, of emotions, and hey! You totally need to watch the end of this video because it's a lot. It's a lot to unpack. Let's get into the video. Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gloria Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Glory, and I am the girl with the T. And the T of this video is all about the epic fight, the epic outburst, the epic altercation between Amaka and Fina from the level two household. Guys, it was intense, it was insane, it was crazy. So if you are new on my channel, if this is the gist that brought you here, you're absolutely welcome. Thank you so much for clicking to watch. I will tell you right now that you are welcome home. Yes, this is the home of the most accurate, detailed, factual, analysis of reality tv shows movies and trending social topics and this season is all about the big brother ninja level up edition so please just do exactly what you see on your screen to become a part of this family and to also be able to always receive a lot of my videos whenever i upload a new one now all of that said let's just quickly get into unpacking the details of the fight why it happened and how it happened i've said this before on my previous video that there's something about these level two housemates they tend to amplify the most basic arguments they tend to amplify the most basic issues and that is simply because everybody is trying so hard to match up to their fellow housemates energy now that is quite expected i'm not really surprised by it i mean in biggie's house every emotion every sentiment is amplified every energy positive or negative always ends up getting amplified and in the early hours of this morning that was exactly what happened now how did this whole wahala how did this whole fight between fina and amaka even start now the first thing we need to note is that fina and amaka they're very good friends Okay, maybe friendship is a strong word. So let's say that they have already started building a bond between each other. If you all cast your mind back to the first night they spent in that apartment, um, they had already started putting disclaimers and drawing lines, you know, drawing bridges and boundaries that, hey, if you come for me, I come for you. If you give me this kind of energy, that's the energy I'm going to give to you. And because of the way Beauty had been constantly um, telling um, um, Fina that she was too loud, she should allow people to speak, um, I can match your energy, Amaka had kind of felt obliged to do likewise by saying that, oh, I like Fina, but if she gives it to me, I will give it to her. Now, because of that, you know, preamble, preamble of announcement of energy, it seems as though anytime Fina says anything in the house, people are constantly jumping on it because they're trying to nitpick and see, oh, is she coming off maliciously or is she actually making a joke out of what she's saying? Now, that was exactly what happened in the early hours of this morning. Now, this is the actual start of the fight. It all started with the aftermath of the Head of House Challenge and the live nomination show. As a matter of fact, a lot of things actually happened, which I will not be able to share on this video because this video is going to be unnecessarily lengthy. So guys, just watch out. I will be releasing more videos, right, about every single event that ensued right after the live nomination show, all right? And even in the midnight, there's a lot of things that happened. But as I said, the whole tension started right after the games, after the live nominations. Yes, you all recall that Big Brother had announced to all the housemates, all 24 of them, that by virtue of the fact that um, the level one house won, it means they are immune from 
possible eviction or possible nominations for possible evictions this week. That means that automatically every single member of the level two household are up for nomination. But people that did not actually give them the names of people that are up for nomination. So there's that tension of uncertainty, of uncertainty that, oh my God, am I up? Nobody is sure of their fate for this week. So everybody is scared. And that prompted them to start having conversations, which I will reveal on our other video because it's a lot. It's quite lengthy. Now, moving away from that, everybody, as I said, still has tension in them. Everybody still has anxiety. And so it made them to put in extra work and extra effort into preparing for their weekly wager task, hoping that that is going to help them, you know, calm down their nerves. Now, of all the housemates, you know, that has been putting in their extra bits to ensure that they work together and get the best results for their wager task presentation, Amaka was that one housemate that was really, really scared. So because she and Fina, they had been, you know, creating this bond, this sort of um, friendship kind of relationship in the house already, she decided to confide in Fina. They were having conversations, first of all, about their task because both of them are in the same um, group, yeah? So they were having conversations about their, their, their task. And from time to time, um, Amaka would deviate from what they were talking about and start talking about the other household. Now, she had many concerns. Oh, what are the strengths of these people? What are the weaknesses? They actually had a conversation, right, a meeting in their household, and they had discussed the other household's um, strengths and weaknesses. Guys, as I said, I will make another video of sharing all of that. But Amaka did not let it pass. So whilst they were discussing their task, she was still, from time to time, deviating and going back to the previous conversation of the other house and it was getting tiring for fina so fina was basically trying to encourage amaka that listen stop talking about these people because you're going to end up stressing yourself now we did not see how the actual argument the actual fight started but from all what um, both Amaka, Fina, and um, Brian, who was physically present there, had shared. It turned out that it was just one statement that Fina made that actually provoked Amaka into anger, into action, that made her to start flaring up. So, according to all the testimonials from these people, um, whilst Fina was trying to pacify and encourage and motivate Amaka, she had made a statement. Okay, Amaka had made a statement like, oh, the guy that won the head of house, that's Elo Swags. I want to creep on him and, you know, get to know him and get to get his strategy, his strengths and weaknesses, blah, blah, blah. And then that kind of sent red flags to Fina because for her, you are my friend. So if you're saying that you want to creep on um, the other housemates, especially, specifically the guy that won the head of house, then it means that you being my friend, you have already started creeping up on me to also learn my strategies, my strengths and my weaknesses so that it can enhance your game in this hair house that we have. So that was how Fina had interpreted it, or should I say misinterpreted it. Now guys, the problem of this argument is that word creep. Yes, creep that Amaka had used. So as I said, that was how Fina had interpreted it. And so the way she interpreted that statement in her mind, that was the exact same thing that she said to Amaka that, oh, so... <laughs> you being my friend means that you are creeping on me as well to learn my strategy, to learn my strengths and weaknesses, you know, so that you can use it against me, you know, sometime, somehow in the game. And the other thing that Fina had said was that, listen, try calming down. There's this worry slang that she used, you know, is it try to be palm, something like that. You said you have 100 followers. I said, okay. No, not that you are paying to now. Not that you are paying to now. It's not good. She was literally telling Amaka to try coming down because the way she's fretting, the way she is, you know, getting all stressed up off the whole thing, it's coming across as though all this hype and energy that she has been displaying in the house from the very first night is all fake. So she said that you said to her that she's fake and mm. the next thing this is the mm. world called mm. Brian now. I think now when they tense now, they fear, they talk of forget this people. Mm. So they fear now it will not be showing like the energy that and I think I'm beside your friends. Like all the energy is as if you're faking it. This was the time when Amaka in turn had misconstrued and misunderstood what Fina was trying to explain to her. So the way she misinterpreted Fina's own statement was that, oh, you are saying that I am fake and that is bad. 
because it's going to make me look bad. You are already an influencer. You have over 16,000 followers on TikTok or wherever. I only have 100 followers. So you are telling people, the viewers out there, that I am fake, thereby canceling me so people are not going to vote for me. You know, so that was exactly how Amaka misinterpreted it and that was what made her flare up. Now, the way Amaka misinterpreted Fina's statement, it made Fina go ballistic, like she lost it. And you know, guys, Fina has a loud voice. When she's explaining stuff, it seems as though she's shouting or she's attacking. And so in that same tone that she naturally has, she started talking loudly and, you know, gesticulating a lot like, come on, that is not what I mean. So she was just basically trying to defend what she meant. But at this point in time, both ladies, they had lost their cool. They had lost their quorum, And then they started flaring up. And guys, it was so scary because Fina, when she's talking, because of the way she gesticulates, she can just easily jab someone or easily hit someone or push someone. And guys, we know that that is against the rules of Biggie's house. No housemate has the audacity to get physical with any other housemate. So whilst they were, you know, arguing and trying to explain to Brian and even Beauty that was about to cuddle up with um, Groovy had come out as well because of the noise, because it was so loud, <laughs> Fina almost jabbed Amaka. <laughs> And guys, I thank God for how because this is only a big day, two nights, right? She would have received a strike. Yeah, because getting physical with a fe fellow housemate could result in that housemate earning a strike from Big Brother as a punishment. The good thing about this whole thing is that Brian was actually physically present when this altercation started and how it escalated. So he was quite disappointed at the way Amaka had fled up because for him, Amaka, you completely misconstrued what Fina said. So he was basically trying to pacify Amaka so that he could explain to her what Fina meant. But Amaka was not having it. Amaka was not listening to anybody. And for over 15 minutes to 20 minutes, Brian kept on calling Amaka, trying to tell her to sit down so that he could explain. But Amaka was not having it. For her, she kept on flaring up. My fears are valid. Yeah, yeah. I am a human being for crying no, but you called me fake. You called me fake. You already have people. My emotions are valid. My feelings are valid. My fears are valid. Like, guys, it was intense. It was crazy. And Fina was kind of shocked that, oh, if you call yourself my friend already in the house, and I am trying to encourage you to motivate you, and then you are misconstruing what I am saying, then you do not know me. So it even got to the point that both of us are using curse words at each other, and it even got messier as Amaka started kind of body shaming Fina, calling her thin, saying that she has skinny legs. And Fina also reciprocated the energy by saying, oh, you too, your tummy is big, you should be using waist trainer, guys. <laughs> it got dirty. <laughs> In all of this, I totally loved what um, Beauty said to Fina that, listen, I understand why Amaka flared up. She saw you as a friend. She felt that she could confide in you. So she probably used the wrong word, um, creeping on another housemate, which is not the word that she should have used. But then you telling her that her energy might come off as fake, using the word fake also triggered her. But guys, the funny thing is Fina also got defensive as well because she felt wronged. She felt like, nah, this person that's my friend completely misunderstood me, you know? So at the end of the day, guys, it was all a case of miscommunication between these two women. And also the valid case of them just enjoying overblowing things out of proportion. Yeah, escalating the very, very minute things, escalating very, very unnecessary things, guys. And listen, as far as I'm concerned, it could happen with any housemate. It doesn't even necessarily have to be between Fina and Amaka. You see that level two household? Everybody just enjoys doing shalaye. Everybody just wants to stamp authority. Everybody just wants to prove that, hey, I am not a pushover. I am not someone that you can walk over like that. I can stand on my own. I can defend on myself, you know? And that was exactly what Amaka kept on repeating, that, oh, Fina, I'm just letting you know that if you come for me next time with an argument, I'm not gonna back down. I'm gonna argue it out with you. I'm like, okay, who argument help? But guys, listen, the juicy thing is that 
They gave us content. And that is what matters. And hey, hey, I'm not going to be the person that says that, oh, I don't want to see more violence. Let them bring it on. Anyways, there's still a lot more to share. And I will be unpacking more juicy tea from last evening, yes, to the early hours of this morning in Biggie's mansion, all right? There's actually a lot to spill and I cannot wait to share with all of you and I'll be doing so on another video soon. But for the time being, just go ahead and let me know your thoughts about these two women's unnecessary altercation in the comment section below. Who do you think was wrong? What do you think was wrong with um, Amaka's statement? What do you think was wrong with Fina's statement? What do you think was wrong with their reactions? Do you think that there could have been a better way that they could have handled their communication problem or are you part of the violence FC like me? Do you enjoy or did you enjoy their violence? And would you be looking forward to more drama from those people? Just go ahead and share with us in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys on another episode of Frankly Speaking with Gloria Elijah. Have an amazing, amazing day. Bye.